Hey everyone, Denise here. We are going to put this card together. Thanks for joining me. I have the light here, so the shadow, I'm sorry, but it's so dark in my basement. I'm trying to make this work. So you'll have to forgive the shadows. It's all trial and error here. So we're going to make this card, but again, I'm not going to put the card together because we have decided to make only a limited number of kits. That way we have more available in the store as we do more classes rather than load up a f the slots with a bunch of a few cards. We can do a few of a bunch of cards. So if you um, like the video and if you are inspired by it to make your own card, whether it's with this kit or something that you have in your own stash, please be sure to like the video so we know to continue making them for you. Also, hit subscribe, if you would, on the channel, because then um, as we get more subscribers, we'll be able to come to you live with free classes or, you know, play-alongs or, or paid classes, even if you're that far away. So look for that coming summer, maybe 2023. Um, also, don't forget to join the group, the Facebook group, if you haven't already, it's Scrapbooking Stuff Group. So this card can either be, and I never know, if you've watched my videos, you know if I, I don't know if it's this way or that way, if it's right side up, so I always move the card around. So I prefer a top fold, and this, the fold is facing me. I always prefer a top fold card. This may be an upside down or not, but I, the flowers can go anywhere. It can also be a side fold card. And again, wherever you put your cluster of flowers, if you use them as a cluster, it's completely up to you. So I'm going to start by telling you that I'm not going to color the flowers in this class. I did use a Distress ink, not oxide, ink reinker, And all I did was put a little on my craft sheet, literally one drop at a time. I got a water barrel brush. I pulled some of the color to the side, wet it down, and I colored. Because remember, you can always add color. So if it's too light to start with, no worries. Go ahead and add again. Now, I did use Heartfelt Creations Flower Shaper paper on this. So it does stand up well to water. It's not water, watercolor paper, but it does stand up well to it because it's meant to take some water and shape. Um, if you were going to use anything else, I would say maybe watercolor paper, but stamping that, you know, make sure that you get the smoother side. But these, the colors, you know, you're using water. So depending on how much water you use, it may or may not hold up to your regular cardstock. It's really all a matter of trial and error. And again, we encourage you to use what you have in your stash if you're playing along, because don't we all have a lot of stuff, right? And that's the point, to use it, and then we can get more fun stuff. So I'm not going to shape these with you because we have a separate video on shaping flowers. So I encourage you to go watch that. Um, I don't know if there is at this time um, a reinker coloring but there will be at some point within the next couple of months. But again, it's just like watercoloring with a reinker. And I just happen to use a Distress watercolor, but you can use a dye or anything else. So here's the card. And I'm going to put it with the top fold facing me, which again may be upside down for you. And I apologize if that's the case. Look at how easy this is going to be. Now, I'm, I don't have one of the pieces here, which is the middle piece. This is so simple. You have a blue. And if you want to, you go ahead and emboss this. I didn't on the card sample, but go ahead and emboss this if you want to. It's your card. Make it that way. Again, I would always use a um, dries clear glue, whether that's the Barely Arts glue or the Art Glitter glue. Um, I do tend to use the Barely Art um, glue. First of all, I think it has a a better fine tip on it but more importantly I live on Long Island and when it ships in the winter it gets cold and the art glitter people tell you it's not good in the cold it'll freeze and lose its adhesive properties and I'm here to tell you it's true I can't tell you how many bottles I've had to throw out or throw out half and so the barely art glue doesn't have that issue so as I use up my art glitter glue stash I am slowly transferring over but both of them dry clear and any glue that you have that dries clear will do the trick here so here's what I did I if you want to emboss now's your time to emboss and then adhere this down and again with the liquid glue you can put it down and you can you know, get it just right. I am the queen of crooked, so I always like a wet adhesive for that, a dry adhesive or a Tombow. You know, it's a one and done deal and that never works out for me. Don't glue this yet. <clears throat> First, make sure you have all your little chads out. Pop this on here, but again, don't glue it yet because you have this centerpiece. Now, I don't know if you can see this, 
but the center piece is flat and the fancy piece is raised up on pop dots a little bit. I think you can see it a little bit there. So the fancy one is popped up a little bit. So I, I placed this here so that I could glue my center piece down first so that that's down. So once you do that, and that's what I'm missing, get yourself some um, pop dots, foam dots, circles, line tape, whatever, um, and cut yourself some little pieces and place them strategically where they can't be seen. So you may be cutting some itty bitty pieces here based on these. So I would do the four corners for sure because they're bigger. I would do maybe over here if I could cut it thin enough and you should be able to because on mine I just by feel I was able to put one in each of these corners like this and I can actually see it a little bit there I definitely put them in the four corners here and I put them here in the centers here just to keep it raised up a little bit I do not have them in the four corners over here though just where the points are and then here, and then here. So you can do either side, which is what I did. You know, I did both sides to prop it up. Now, if you don't wanna do it here because you're putting flowers, if you're putting them in the same place, that's up to you. But I do recommend doing them all the same. That way the flowers don't weigh it down. It doesn't look a little, um, you know, strange when you're done. So once you've done that, you've taken all those little things off the back. You just pop that right over so to be popped up and then you're on to shaping your flowers. Now it doesn't matter at this point whether you want it to be a top fold or a side fold card. Unless you're putting a sentiment on it, it really doesn't matter because this card works both ways. If you don't like your flowers clustered in this corner, cluster them in any corner. If you want to put one cluster here and two clusters here, have at it. You just want to make one big flower or you want to just leave the one, it's your card. Make it your own. Do whatever you would like to do with it. This is a sample and it's a sample for a reason. You don't have to follow the sample. I mean, if you were in class, you do have to finish on time, but you don't have to follow the sample. It's your card. Make it your own. So again, I encourage you to head on back to um, our videos about flower shaping and if you have any questions about coloring, if the video isn't there yet and you're doing a card like this, please feel free to comment on the Scrapbooking Stuff group Facebook page. We don't really monitor the comments on YouTube at this point because we're not live on it at this time. Uh, but if you comment on the Facebook group, we'll see it and I'll be happy to help you and walk you through it. Hopefully by the time you do this, we'll have a video. Um, but if you have something that you'd like to see, feel free to send a request and we'll see what we can do. That's it, quick and easy. These kits are so easy when you have all the pieces cut for you. And the pearls, I've left the card here so that you can pause it. I'll hold it up too. So that you can pause and you can see, I'm sorry, I'm just seeing a reflection. Um, and you can see where the, where the pearls are. So you can pause it, take a look. And again, put them wherever you want. Just because I put them here doesn't mean you have to. You're not a pearl fan? Don't use pearls. You want to color them with an alcohol marker? Go right ahead. It'll work. Make it your own. Thanks for the card kit, buying it. I hope to see you in class in person soon. And if you're not local, then I hope to see you in class when we start them online. Thanks again. Have a great day and show us your work when you're done.